I especially love the fact that he's not a pushover. If you ain't know, now you know, huh? Let me share some real quick. Follow me. Hi everyone. I'm going to react to a <sighs> hundred days my prince episode one. I it's been a while since I've watched a, a Korean drama and uh, with Dio being this one I was like I wanted to see it so a few some days ago I'm not sure when I sent out a poll to see if you guys wanted me to react to it and the majority was yes so that's what I'm trying to do right now and the thing with um, dramas is that they get blocked on YouTube so what I'm going to do is I think is that I'm going to post the actual reaction on my patreon I'm gonna leave the link in the description box and in the comment sections and you can just click on it and then it's gonna take you to the reaction itself and the commentary is gonna be like the intro and the commentary is gonna be on YouTube but the actual reaction is gonna be on my patreon so I don't know exactly what the drama is about I know Dio's in it and I think he has like a dual role but I'm not sure so I'm like going into this like fresh. <sighs> okay. Here we go. Are you ready? You ain't ready. I love this first episode. I don't remember like the characters' names because that comes with time. You know, when watching a Korean dramas was. That's usually how it is for me. When it started and Dio was like, I want to die. I'm assuming that that's going to come. Why he wants to die, that's going to come later on as I'm watching the, the drama. Him as a little kid and her as a little kid. They were just so cute together. And... I knew when the his mother was like she was going to a temple for some kind of festival. I'm like she's not coming back anymore because I knew that. And then especially when the father prohibited him from going out, I knew they were gonna attempt some kind of coup, and he didn't want him to know. But then he saw the whole thing, and now he doesn't want to have anything to do with the with being the crown prince. So he's trying to discredit himself in front of the people so they don't support him and stuff like that he doesn't want to do anything that's going to be advantageous to his father and the other dude that just carried out the whole thing <laughs> and before that he said well how many days he hasn't smiled and each time he sees a person his company does smiling he's like I'm uncomfortable and then he gives them some kind of ultimatum some kind of something that's gonna take away their smiles I'm like I feel something like deal with this rude but then again I kind of love that especially I especially love the fact that he's not a pushover you know because some kind of some dramas you will see that the the prince or whatever being pushed over being a pushover until sometime later in the day in the, day, in the drama when he gets you know he gets to grow out of that and overcome the people but him from the very beginning you can tell that he's already like thinking of things like how to get rid of the like he's he's intelligent and then the fighting <sighs> When the guy was using a, a sword and he was using a a wood branch thingy, I'm like, what are you gonna do with that? But then his moves with the sliding and just and then I saw the guy use his sword to cut the thing. I'm like, yeah, that was not gonna go anywhere. And his best friend or whatever 
that they've been friends since the beginning of of the of the drama. And now I've seen him in another drama. I'm trying to remember which one it was, but I loved him in that drama as well. I'll figure it out later. So seeing him here and him being the best friend of Tio, whatever his name is in the in the drama itself, I I don't know. Like I love that. What else do I want to talk about? And the girl, when she was growing up, the way she intimidated those two dudes while she was doing what, what was she doing on on the road? I don't know. But like when I see men like that bully women just because. I hate that and I'm like, I wish I knew how to fight so that I would just kick him into something. But the way she took care of them was just even more brilliant that she just used fear. <laughs> Woman scorned. Oh my gosh, I love that. <sighs> and then Mary, the woman's, all oh, the unwed guys and girls oh, that was funny as well <laughs> I love this I love it I feel like I want to see something else from that one scene. I'm kind of wondering if the you know when do you give the the problem to solve to the idea to you because he was dreaming about meeting whatever and he came and saw the the problem and the guy told him that he was gonna promote whoever solved the problem to something and he was like I'm gonna solve it. I feel like he's the same dude that's gonna be going after Dio's girl. And I'm not sure if he is the prince the queen's son. I feel like he might be the queen's son. The you know, the queen's like his her son is supposed to be the the, the crown prince, but you know, Tio sort of reserved the the role not by his choice, but that's how it went. So now she's trying to kill Tio so that her son can take the throne and just I love period dramas, but what I hate about them is that they just the injustice in them, like there's so much injustice at that time and usually it gets it gets really sad and I don't want especially sometimes especially the, like the, the last episode I want my, my my last episodes to be like happy ending stuff but sometimes it's not it makes you cry either the guy the girl dies or the guy dies or they get separated by time or something or other so I don't want any of that to happen to my deal like if anybody's gonna die I would rather the girl than deal but like I just want some happy ending for him because he's just so adorable as a Dio. He's so talented man Okay, I've talked enough Thank you guys for watching And I'll see you guys next time